Hi, I've got a um, old Tektronix, uh, old oscilloscope, but uh, I just found a way to improve compared to the modern ones. And uh, I just want to share with you guys. So, um, this Tektronix uh, TDS3034B, it's got four channels on it. Uh, but, but this uh, is about the t around 10 years old but I think this is still good enough uh, there's, there are many ways to capture your screen such as this one has got Ethernet port at the, at the back and you can add GPIB communication board here is the optional unit, but the uh, old ones have got a this uh, old floppy disk on it. But no one uses this floppy floppy disk anymore. So I found a way to use USB instead. So what you have to do is uh, just get a USB to uh, floppy to USB converter and replace it just like this, and it works just like other modern oscilloscopes. And I just wanna show you how it works with the USB stick. So I disassemble this and put the USB converter into the mounted into this uh, scope and pass it on so it's got a uh, four different channels on it and I want to capture this into my USB stick so what you have to do is plug it in and you'll see the light on, light is on and you just have to capture it with this print button and you'll see it's copying it to USB it's got four channels on it and uh, there are many signals here so it might take long All right so this one is finished so unplug that and mount it onto my computer and here it is this one is exactly the same as this one so it, it's got a clean quality clean and good quality image and 38 kilobytes which is really small so with this old ones you can still use USB and put this uh, image into your report or something else but you also have to modify your USB stick so this one is converted uh, from from just uh, FAT32 FAT something or NTFS to FAT format and this is 8 gigabytes of uh, USB stick and this went down to 1.4 1, 1 megabytes so this thing, this scope will understand uh, that USB stick as a floppy disk but uh, for you for the users it's, it's way easier than using this uh, floppy disk compared to the stick so all you have to do is convert this and put the converter into the scope and you have to modify your USB stick and this thing 
and you will still you will be able to capture uh, the image from the scope through USB and there was just a quick one of the one of the good tips that I got got I got it from internet so thank you very much for watching and the scopes are still good